Christine Musha file photo licensing rights acquisition Toronto. December 9th The dream of making it in Canada is turning into a struggle for survival for many immigrants. Due the high cost of living and rent shortages. Rising migration numbers indicate that new arrivals will be forced to return their adopted country in a country where they chose make their home. Trudeau has made immigration his main weapon to address Canada's major problem with an aging and slowing population. And it has also helped spur economic growth. That's led to Canada's population growing this year at the fastest pace in more than six decades. Statistics Canada said. However, now this trend is slowly reversing. According to official data, approximately 42,000 people left Canada the first six months of 2023. This added 93,818 people leaving in 2022 and 85,927 leaving 2021. The rate of immigrants leaving Canada reached a two-decade high in 2019. According to a recent report from the Institute for Canadian Citizenship, an immigration advocacy group, while numbers drop during pandemic lockdowns, Statistics Canada data shows they are rising once again. While this is a tiny fraction of 263,000 people who arrived in country during same period, steady increase in immigration is making some observers cautious. For a country built on immigrants, the growing trend of leaving Canada risks undermining one of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's government's signature policies, which has granted permanent residence to a record 2.5 million people in just eight years. Spoke with half a dozen people who have left or are preparing to leave the country because of the high cost of living. It accounts for approximately 30 of its earnings. Household salary. I never realized that living in a Western country, you could only afford to rent a room in the basement, she said. She declined to give her real name because she fled Hong Kong after taking part in 2019 protests. Triggered by a now-abandoned extradition bill, Kara works three part-time jobs, earns Ontario's minimum wage of C16.55 per hour and attends an adult education school to earn college credits. I use almost every penny of it, he said, managing to save about a third of his monthly salary while in Hong Kong. Of course, immigration as a percentage of Canada's overall population reached a high of 0.2 in the mid-1990s and currently stands at about 0.09. According to official government data, Although numbers are small at moment, lawyers and immigration consultants warn that a pickup could overshadow Appeal of Canada, which is one of preferred destinations for newcomers. It's really important to create positive experiences in those early years so that people decide to stay, said ICC CEO Daniel Bernhard. Immigrants blame skyrocketing housing prices as the biggest reason for their decision to consider a New country. RBC's September report said that on average in Canada, about 60 of household income would be needed to cover the costs of ho.